that Friday the stone was rolled into place, this moment of crushed faith. There his body lay, beaten, broken, wearing the marks of pain. Our Lord Jesus, slain, shrouded by darkness, the light extinguished. Mournful memories of this promise of a light burden and an easy yoke. But now left with failed hopes and dreams that are broke. This sense of loss begins to grow as afraid, alone, overcome with sorrow, questioning all that I know. Is this it? Is this how it was supposed to go? Is this the way the story was going to end? A world where chaos dismantles order, where evil devours good, where lies deceive truth. A world where death destroys life and darkness overcomes the light. This can't be it, this cannot be what I believed the end to be. This isn't right, this is wrong, but where is the justice for which I long? But praise be to God because this isn't the end of the storm. On the third day, the stone was rolled away. With eyes filled with tears in the garden, my Lord appeared. He is alive and glorious, defeating the grave. He's victorious to save. Jesus, when he came out of the tomb, he made a mockery of Satan and all the evil forces that devour, stripping them of all their power, for the power is yours. The glory is yours, the dominion is yours, and Jesus, we are yours. We owe you all that we are. By your life and through your blood, you paid the price. This perfect sacrifice, offering the gift of new creation, life. A plan set in motion of this beautiful restoration, this new creation. You see, God longs to make all things new, and by all things, that includes me, and that includes you. So if you're asking, what do I need to do? The answer is nothing. The work has already been done, so turn, repent, and run to the risen one, Jesus Christ, the perfect Son, the one who was and is and is to come. When we embrace resurrection life, we have life to the full, this life that is broken free of sins, Cool. When we embrace resurrection life, we won't fear when chaos draws near and nations shake and the culture breaks. When we embrace resurrection life, we won't fear when power and greed leads to war, when the night endures and the enemy is knocking at the door. We remember we are the Lord's and we lift up a praise with a mighty roar. Hallelujah, it is finished. Hallelujah, it is done. Hallelujah. He has won. He's our God of glory, the finisher of the story.